we're inside the 2010 Ford Fusion uh, and I just want to show you a couple of the cool features in it um, I've already synced up my iPhone to it so uh, you'll hear that come on in a second here but let me just show you uh, starting it up we only have to turn the key um, first of all when you put the key in you get the uh, both the LCD displays are coming up here so just kind of a little welcome here shows you that it's a Ford and it's a hybrid um, when you turn the key you don't have to turn it all the way and it's already starting up and that's indicated by this little green line right or little green icon down here but if you look there's the LCD panel it's got all your information uh, you can see how cool or hot the engines running what gear you're in we're in park right now um, your trip counter power all that good stuff over here and over here you've got your uh, your fuel gauge which is a little bit better I think than uh, than most of the fuel gauges I'm used to because I'm used to just the needle that shows that I've got you know three quarters or I'm close to a quarter of a tank or whatever this one's a little bit more precise um, I've had the car it's almost a week now that I've had it and I've uh, barely gone through a little over half the fuel it looks like so not too bad it says I've got uh, don't know if you can see that 184 miles left it's all empty so it's kind of nice it shows your uh, miles miles to a gallon that you're getting I'm averaging 35.3 that's with um, some general city driving and then uh, uh, trip to Sedona as well so that's not too bad um, right now it's showing zero miles to gallon because I'm not moving but uh, yeah that's that's what the cluster looks like here one of the coolest parts of this car again is uh, one of the coolest features is this whole hybrid cluster here um, you can see that it has all your stuff that I showed already before over here but then over here I've got this set to uh, um, show the fuel efficiency in terms of leaves so right now it's not very fuel efficient and there's not a whole lot of data so you don't see a whole lot of leaves um, one of the things that I like is that you can change all this by uh, using just the controls on the steering wheel it's not advised to mess around with all this stuff while you're driving which is why, why I'm doing this parked um, especially if you're filming it with your other hand but uh, in any case there is a lot to go through here there's there's a lot of stuff so it's best to do it while you're parked and I'll show you why if I hit the setup button here and you can see on the screen that it changes into the the uh, setup menu now I've got my info reset um, basically what I want to do is I'm going to use uh, this rocker to uh, go forward and back into menus and then set up to select an option or go down uh, down through the menu so I'll hit setup and you'll see if I hit setup a bunch of times it goes down through the list I want display settings so then I'll hit this rocker switch here and it's going to go over one and you can see some of these menus are two or three tiers so there's a lot of stuff that you can change and do in here so I'll hit uh, setup and go down to efficiency gauge now on the right side it actually shows you the buttons and tells you what you need to do to get around the menu system so we'll go back over here and um, it also has a quick timeout which you can change but we'll go back into the menu it remembered where I was I'm gonna hit uh, the right arrow to get over to here and then I'm gonna hit the setup button to go to the graph and then I will hit the right arrow to set it and then just hit the left arrow a few times to get back out now if you look over here I have a little, a little uh, graph showing my fuel efficiency 
and in a second here we're going to drive around and watch that change okay so now we're just driving around the neighborhood and uh, and I want to show you how the fuel efficiency works I don't know if you can see it here I'll try and get in close without uh, wrecking their car <laughs> um, I'm going to have to move my hand so I'll be able to actually turn the steering wheel. Um, in here you have the fuel efficiency, like right when I was stopping there, it was showing it 60 miles to the gallon, which, you know, may or may not be exactly accurate because um, I wasn't, you know, I'm in the middle of just stopping at that point. But you can see I'm just driving along the road slowly and, uh, you know, not applying a lot of gas and, and it gets up to 60 miles to the gallon right now. Um, the reason it's peaking right there is I'm not exactly using the, uh, the gas so much as I am just using the electric. So as you can see over here, I have, uh, you know, some power stored up. So I'm mostly using that. Now, if I hit the gas, you can see that fuel efficiency drop. So uh, you can see that when I, when I kick the gas in, all of a sudden I lose my fuel efficiency. Now you also notice the bar that showed up on the right side here. That little bar wasn't there before. Um, this little graph on the right side from left to right shows most recent to older uh, fuel efficiency. So right now it's showing pretty good fuel efficiency versus 20 minutes ago, 